Um, there are uh, two crosswalks, uh, one at uh, 16th and Hampton at UBC and one at uh, Chancellor Boulevard and Hamber Road. Uh, the Chancellor uh, Boulevard and Hamber Road uh, uh, crosswalk is very unsafe uh, for the students uh, crossing to U Hill Elementary. The markings aren't clear, there are no lights, it's a uh, uh, high traffic road and uh, there has been an assessment by the Ministry of Transportation of it. I don't know where that's at, I'm curious about where that's at. Uh, similarly, the sidewalks on 10th are uh, very unsafe. They're heaved. They're, uh, uh, they are not safe for walking on if anyone has any kind of a disability or a challenge walking. Um, there's an assessment that's been done by the Ministry of Transportation. I'm not sure where that's at. I'm looking for an update. And then the last uh, piece is uh, there's been a request that the Ministry of Transportation drop the speed limit from 50 kilometers per hour to 70 kilometers per hour at, uh, at 16th and Hampton, again, uh, in the lead up to the crosswalk there. And I'm not sure where that request is at. To 50. Um, pardon me, from, uh, pardon me, from 70 kilometers per hour to 50 kilometers per hour. Um, and I'm not sure where that request is at. So uh, the minister, uh, if he has the people here that are able to answer that question, I apologize for holding them here till the end. Um, but uh, if not, I'd be glad to take those answers in writing as well. That's easier for, uh, for the group that's assembled. Mr. Minister. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Chair. Uh, I have just uh, discovered uh, uh, something that I thought was completely impossible. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, gentleman in question, uh, the ADM responsible, who knows everything there is to know about every square inch of every road in the province of British Columbia, um, uh, uh, does not have the answers to these questions at his fingertips. Uh, let the record show. Uh, 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 so. Uh, 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 but we will we will uh, we will endeavor to get the responses. Uh, and rather than and writing it up and sending a letter in several weeks and whatnot, what we'll do is we'll get the responses this evening, and then I'll I'll read them into the record tomorrow if that uh, is sufficient for the for the member on on all three of uh, the questions he posed. 
Um, the first issue was uh, with respect to uh, 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 crosswalks at uh, 16th and Hampton in Vancouver. Um, as uh, the member knows, there, there are two crosswalks, uh, one at 16th and, and Hampton uh, at UBC and one at Chancellor Boulevard and Hamber Road. Uh, the Chancellor uh, Boulevard and Hamber Road crosswalks um, are uh, somewhat unsafe for uh, the students who are crossing uh, to U Hill uh, Elementary. Um, uh, the ministry uh, does uh, agree with the member that the markings aren't as clear as they should be. There's, there's also, at, at the moment, no, no lights. Uh, it is indeed a high traffic road. Uh, there has been an assessment uh, of it by the Ministry of Transportation, um, and we're looking into the uh, to, to the ex exact details of that assessment. Uh, what I do want to say, though, uh, is that the Ministry has been working with uh, UBC on the installations of crosswalks at this location. Uh, the new uh, crosswalk will include flashing overhead uh, ambers, a pedestrian push button to activate the overhead lights. Uh, striping on the road and advance uh, warning signage notifying drivers uh, of the pedestrian crosswalk and additional overhead lighting. Uh, UBC actually started the installation of the new crosswalk system about a month ago and, and construction is anticipated to be uh, complete by June 15th. UBC is funding the installation of uh, the new crosswalk here uh, and the ministry will then be responsible for the ongoing uh, maintenance and repair. Uh, the second issue uh, related to speed limits. Uh, uh, and uh, um, th there was a, a request uh, that the Ministry of Transportation consider dropping the speed limit uh, from uh, 70 kilometers per hour to 50 kilometers per hour at 16th and Hampton. And, and, and again, uh, uh, th th this is in the, the lead up to the crosswalk that I, that I, just, uh, I just spoke of. Uh, we actually do, the Ministry does support a reduction uh, in the speed limit in the, in the vicinity of this, of this crosswalk. Uh, we have approved extending the existing 50 kilometer per hour zone so it begins about uh, 420 meters uh, east of the crosswalk uh, and we believe that this will provide enough time for motorists uh, to slow down before they encounter the advanced crosswalk warning signs. Uh, and the last issue that I, I, I was aware of from yesterday was uh, uh, relating to the pedestrian crossing at Chancellor and Hamber. Uh, the, uh, uh, this uh, crosswalk is used uh, for crossing from uh, Chance Chancellor Boulevard to the University Hill Elementary School. Uh, the ministry has examined uh, the crosswalk at this location and has been working uh, the local parent advisory, um, working with the uh, local parent advisory council and other key stakeholders about uh, upgrades uh, to, to this crosswalk. Um, the, uh, the crossing is, is controlled by a full pedestrian signal which displays a red light uh, to motorists when children are crossing. Uh, we did improve safety here uh, by adding uh, countdown timers about a month ago. Uh, further improvements are planned, uh, including refreshing the crosswalk uh, lines and at the right turn, uh, adding new crosswalk lines and additional uh, signage. Um, and f finally, in addition, uh, sidewalk letdowns will be installed on Hamber Road to improve accessibility for pedestrians. So happy uh, again to uh, be able to provide those responses uh, to the member for Vancouver Point Grey from yesterday.